How's it going, you beauties? It's producer guy Phil, and we are back with some more NHL 18 content. Hey, really quick, please, please, please be sure to crush that like and subscribe button because one of you lucky beauties is going to win a free Adidas NHL at a zero jersey at 10K. So make sure you're already uh, clicking that like and subscribe button. All right, today. Whew, we got a fun idea. I was kind of thinking about this, um, especially with like players getting traded, getting new jersey numbers and things like that. I was like, well, what if I built a team of numbers from say 28 through 36? But I was like, hmm, you know what? Let's just start at the bottom. Let's go numbers of one through 10. So these are players who have the numbers one through 10, the best players that I felt who have the numbers one through 10. And I'm pretty excited because this team is gross. It is gross. You're gonna see the lineup and be like, oh, oh yeah. I mean, look at the rating, 97. 90 freaking seven. The team is filthy, filthy. And I got a couple things I wanna talk about today. Some really, really, really awesome um, things. And most importantly, uh, a lot of hockey. So as they say in hockey, let's do that hockey. So the first thing I wanna talk about is I got to go to my first away game. Uh, what is it, what are we, Saturday? Uh, two days ago now in Buffalo, it was the Toronto Maple Leafs versus the Buffalo Sabres and what a game that was 5-2 for the Leafs big big W for the boys in the blue and white and it was just it was so so fun I got to go with uh, my good buddy Justin I got to take my mom I got to finally you know take her to an away game so it was pretty awesome to be able to take uh, you know one of my closest friends and my mother to a hockey game so let me just go show you the lines really quick before I get back into that story so look at that beauty first line Ovi, Braden, Shen, Panarin, disgusting. Taylor Hall, Kyle Turris, and Joe Pavelski, a disgusting. Philip Forsberg, Miku Koivu, and Barack Besser, a disgusting. And JT Miller, Tyler Johnson, a little bit of a lightning connection there now, eh? And Clayton Keller, ooh, filthy. And then John Klingberg, Drew Doughty, Shea Weber, Duncan Keith, Mark Giordano, and Zach Wierenski disgustingly disgusting decor and then Roberto Luongo and Semyon Varlamov there you go pretty a uh, pretty good team right there pretty good team indeed right there so let's get right back into it so you know what I gotta say this for anyone who lives in Buffalo or has been to the um, Key Bank Center you have a really nice looking indoor like inside of the arena your, your concourses I feel are a little bit too narrow for me because I'm trying to like you know hold my liquor hold my beer with me and all of a sudden like I gotta like whew, like skim this and hold across whoa what a bad losing streak we just went on what happened there disgusting but like once you're in your seat and you're sitting down it's nice and open you can see everything but uh literally the whole Buffalo arena was just like 95% leaf fans and I felt a little bad I'm like oh dear oh oh dear that is uh that is certainly something right there but it was just it was super fun like it was honestly super fun and I really did enjoy it it was uh, really really cool to actually get to go into an away game and kind of like experience the whole traveling environment it's weird to see your team score a goal and not hear like hear a goal horn that's uh that's one of the things that like threw me off guard just a little bit was uh not hearing uh you know the hoo, hoo, when your team scores um but it was really really awesome i enjoyed it i had a blast and I, I can't wait to go back like i'm definitely going to be going back there seeing maybe a couple other teams and it's really freaking cool so that's uh, honestly exciting and another thing too that i want to talk about is i'm going to the toronto marley's game tomorrow uh, with my good buddy, you know him, you've seen him in streams, Mr. Fat Sexy Canadian. We had a buddy of ours, Mr. King Shadow, hook us up with some tickets. So, great dude, thank you very much, uh, Shadow there. So, we're going to be going to uh, that game tomorrow. I'm looking very forward to that as well. going to try and uh, scoop me maybe a couple autographs. You know, I know a little uh, I know a little tips and tricks to get some autographs, thanks to my good buddy, Audie James. So, I'm going to maybe try and uh, hook that up, you know, see if I can uh, get some good luck, you know, get some uh, good vibes, good vibrations going. So... Maybe, you know, maybe I might have a little bit of autographs in the future. So, who knows? But I want to actually check our standings mid well, about midway through now, just to, just to see how we're doing. So, Ovi with 57 points in 51 games. That's awesome. Panarin, 46 and 51. Shen, 36 and 51. Terse, 34 and 51. Taylor Hall, 31 and 51. Brock Besser, 26 and 51. All right, who had the least amount right now? Clayton Keller, 10 points in 51 games. All right, not too bad goaltending. Is this like our weak spot? No, I don't know why we had so many losses then. 923 save percentage and 929 is not the worst. 205 and a 167. Did we just have like a little bit of an unlucky streak? Like, is that kind of what happened? I, I, I don't know. Like, we just, we lost a bunch of games there to start. I mean, 
We're second in the league behind Tampa, my mortal enemies, and apparently any sim I do Tampa. But it was just really odd to kind of see that, like, we had a bunch of losses because I thought this team was filthy. Like, maybe we'll go in a little bit of a tear to end the season, but, like, oh, we need to make up some W's and quick. But, yeah, I'm going to the minor league game tomorrow. That should be fun. It's always good going to see your minor league team, man. It's always a blast. I recommend it. It's super cheap, too, man. For good hockey, tickets are cheap, you know. It's really awesome. So I recommend you go out there. You go see it. You go take a good pick for your team there, all right? All right, 39-21-3. and three. That's a, it's, it's an all right record heading into March. Like, we're going to get at least 48 wins, so... That's a that's a plus. Like I, I'm even underestimating that because <laughs> you know with these sims, your predictions can always be far off. So, all right, 45. Nope. See, look at that. Just a bunch of lot. Like, I don't know why we're losing so much. Like I'm genuinely shocked of why we have so many losses. Usually when I do this, like a team like at this rating, like 97, like overall, I mean losing this much games. Like we basically have like the uh, performance of like an average team, but I don't know why. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. It's very, very odd. Very, very odd. All right, so I guess we're going to go into the playoffs here. We're going to face the Vancouver Canucks in the first round? What? But before we do go into that, let's just see the rest of the season, how everything kind of shaped up. So it looks like we did take our division pretty handily. Ovi finished at a point per game, which is always pretty good. So point per game for Ovi, 72 for Panarin, 56 for Shen, 53 for Turris, 47 for Hall, 40 for Klingberg, 39 for Pavelski, 38 for Brock and Besser. So pretty good all around. Uh, Giordano finished with only six, or, uh, 15 points with Keller with 16. All right. Let's check a goal tending. 921 and a 930. Weird. This is just this has just been a weird sim. This has just been a weird, weird sim. Let me actually go check out the uh, rest of the league. See where we finished up. If we got the presidents. Because this is just a little odd. Hmm. A little odd right now. Nope, we lost out in the presidents because Tampa just went on a rampage. 115 points. Well, I guess you know we don't have to worry about the curse of the presidents trophy because <laughs> we didn't win the presidents trophy. So it's, uh, it's not too bad at all. So let's get this first series out of the way. See what happens. 3-1 loss. 7-2 win. 3-2 win. 3-0 win. All right. So there we go. Um, we got a league going to game five. All right. We take it in five games. Good. So we at least got a first uh, the first run out of, like, out of the way. Excellent. Who are we going to be playing in the second round? Oh, the Edmonton Oilers. I feel like Cammy Talbot's going to steal the series for Edmonton right now. Uh, oh, he almost just let the series down for Edmonton right there. But who knows? Oh, overtime loss. Uh-oh. Is he going to come back? Yeah. Oh, it's like if he, if he comes back and steals the series, <laughs> I'd be very I'd be very upset. I'd be very upset my prediction came true. St. Louis. Uh, oh, no, this is not good. They got a, they got a pretty good team. Full good players. 4-0 win, 5-1 win, and never mind. We sweep. That's fine. <laughs> eh, we just happen to sweep, so that's okay. No, uh, no big deal or anything. Let me guess, Tampa in the final too, right? The, the Leafs in the final. <laughs> that is how you know it's a video game. 2-1 win, 4-0 win, and did we just sweep? Yep. All right, so we uh, we did win the cup. That's awesome. Can a team of players uh, who wear numbers 1 through 10 win the cup? Absolutely, they can. And we did it in pretty deciding fashion there too. What did we lose, like only three games total? Like, that's not even that bad. That's pretty darn good if you ask me. All right, let's check out the awards here. Let's see uh, what happened. Who got some awards? So, Presidents to the Lightning. Uh, Clarence has Campbell to us. Prince of Wales to the Leafs. There we go. Steven Stamkos with the Art Ross. Hart to Steven Stamkos. James North to Eric Carlson. Lady Bing to Voracek. Calder to Besser. Uh, Consmite to Luongo. Nice. Vezina to Vasilevsky. Jennings to Vasilevsky. Uh, Masterton to Zach Bogosian. Selkie to Jordan Stahl. Ted Lindsay to Steven Stamkos. And, ooh, our Ovi got the uh, Maurice Richard, so there we go. That's not too bad. I don't see that too often, in all honesty. Don't really see that too often, but there you go. Let me just show you the playoff tree. I kind of get a feel for right there. So how many games did we end up losing? So, yeah, we only ended up losing three games, which, you know what? That's, that's a pretty good cup run, if you ask me. Like, we actually had a sweep of the conference final and the cup final. Like, that's pretty awesome. How did Toronto... Toronto played a lot to get here, so they might have just been burned out, and they, they took Tampa to seven, so it was almost Tampa final with us. Wow. <laughs> so we almost ended up facing Tampa in the final, but you know what? We got Toronto. We ended up sweeping them, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you're at the Marley's Game Tour, make sure you uh, send me a message and come say hi, all right? I think that'd be pretty uh, pretty darn awesome. So 
Thank you guys very much for watching. I am Producer Guy Phil. I will see you in the next one. Stay classy.